hello guys so today we will learn about the fm demobilization using phase locked loop okay pll method okay so in previous class we have done the fm modulation and the simulation of that fm modulation is here this part we have done in last class above one okay this still here so how we have done that we have used one sine wave we have integrated it multiplied with the gain and the carrier frequency we have uh, used it as a constant at 100 in previous class we have used it as uh, below 100 i think 50 or 10 okay so here we are using 100 and this gain is 50 and the sine wave uh, is the message signal we are using of 10 hertz you can see so this is in radian per second frequency by 10 amplitude is 1 okay and sample timing is 1 by 1000 this is integrated <coughs> this is the gain this is constant 100 okay and we have multiplied it with 2 pi and whole thing will come under cos theta and then we have multiplied it with gain 1, put it as 1 and we saw that in our output scope and we find out that our FM modulator is working in our last class. Here we will demodulate it using PLL method. What is PLL method you have already know in from your theory class what is PLL method but uh, in basic it is uh, the phase lock loop means in which our phase is locked at a constant value okay for certain frequency okay so here in the diagram you can see this is matrix multiply this is Butterworth filter and this is BCO variable control oscillator so this is this is the diagram of PLL okay this is a feedback system here you can see the feedback coming through VCO and it goes into matrix multiply okay and one input is coming from the this is the modulated output of FM and it goes into matrix multiply what it will do this matrix multiply this will calculate the error the difference between the feedback signal and the modulated signal and the error means there will be difference of phase okay maybe 0 or 10 or 20 or 40 whatever it is okay means uh, take it as error is more than 100 then this analog the filter design this butterworth this is nothing but the low pass filter of order 5 and the frequency edge will be 2 pi 10 what we have given as the message signal same so below this frequency it will remove others means any other frequency are above this then it will filter it out and give it to VCO so it will mainly give the uh, very low input signal because it is a low pass filter very low input signal to VCO take it as a DC input only and VCO is oscillator it will oscillate at certain after taking certain input okay means it will detect like uh, if we have uh, zero error then we will set at zero error what is our Qsen frequency so here the Qsen frequency I have set it to 100 okay at zero it will give the frequency as 100 okay so 100 hertz sine wave will be generated okay if uh, and here you can see the input sensitivity input sensitivity i have set it to 50 so what is 50 50 is 50 hertz per volt so above zero if uh, our error we are getting as 1 volt 1 okay so at 1 it will increase 
100 to 150 it will make this fusion frequency from 100 to 150 so the output of vco will come as 100 uh, will come on 150 hertz sine wave okay if it is error is 2 error will come from here after multi uh, matrix multiply i am not getting into how this matrix multiply will calculate the error okay this is the mathematical part but the phase detected thing will be done by matrix multiply okay i am not getting into the mathematical part of it so uh, yeah so you can see the qsen frequency this is how our vco works it will give the ac output by taking the dc input means in oscillator we don't need input but this is just for the sensing purpose at what input what output they have to give okay so this is voltage controlled oscillator so you can see the voltage it coming at each and every volt it input sensitivity will increase means overall uh, frequency will increase so this is the continuous time vco virtual control oscillator and the output means the signal coming out of vco will again get into matrix multiply and then both will multiply the modulated signal and the vco output and it will find out the phase difference and again the same process will repeat okay so this is the pll diagram feedback diagram and uh, this is how we detect our fm modulator this is how we detect our fm signal not the modulator sorry fm signal okay we can recover our fm signal so i'm not getting into coding part of this because uh, coding is quite uh, means we have to take some uh, in coding also we will use this communication toolbox mainly this continuous time vco will come from communication toolbox only this analog filter design will come through dsp or signal processing signal processing toolbox and this matrix multiply will also come from uh, it will come from dsp toolbox so different different toolbox we have used the same thing will goes into uh, coding also so uh, i'm not getting into coding part just for the simulation okay so i will run this now okay so you can see go first first this is our modulated signal okay so i will zoom it okay so you can see this is our message signal and the modulated frequency is changing you can see from here to here frequency is changing okay okay here it is of different frequency from here to here and from and from here to here it is of different frequency so this frequency will change okay so that's why we call that fm modulation so this is one and this now we have to see the demodulated output okay so this is our demodulated output we have to just zoom in and we have to see what we are getting okay so this is our no this one below one is our okay so this one is our modulated signal and this is the message signal below one is our message signal so we are getting i think getting a good message signal okay so we are getting a good message signal okay so this is how we do the fm modulated So this is how we perform the demodulation okay fm demodulation so you can use this previous 
simulation or, or uh, diagram, circuit diagram, and then you connect the demodulation circuit below circuit in this modulation circuit, and you can observe the output. Okay, this is the PLL method of demodulation. Okay, there are various uh, advantage and disadvantage of this. So you will learn all these things in your theory classes. I'm not getting into that. Okay, so quite a simple experiment. It is very simple. How to connect these circuits? You already know how you have to connect this circuit. How you have to open the simulation part of MATLAB and how you have to use the libraries and different toolbox to connect the circuit. Okay, so these things I have already taught in previous classes. So please go through that and do this experiment. This is your last experiment of analog communication. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.